New in stock, we have a BMW 5 Series 3 litre 530D M Sport. It's a saloon, it's a 2008 on a 58 plate. It has Pro Nav and it's got uh, full Dakota leather too. Car's done 108,300 miles. Very, very nice condition inside and out. Credit to its previous owners and it has a full service history too. The fuel economy, 31 urban, extra urban is 54.3 and combined is 42.8. 0 to 60 time of 6.8 seconds and a top speed of 154 miles an hour out of a 235 brake horsepower engine. Road tax, six months is £137.50 and 12 months is £250. I'm just going to take you a ride in it now. The, uh, the car's got an MOT till the 28th of the 11th, 2018. It really is a nice car. Um, very, very well finished off. That's the key. The key slots in the uh, steering column there. And then there's a start button. We'll put the air come on. We've also got valet key and uh, a spare key there. And uh, I'll show you the service history. We've got a good old fashioned book, <laughs> which cheers me up no end. And there you go, it's all stamped. So, 28th of the 10th, 2009, 14,866 at Chandler's BMW. 28th of the 9th, 2011 at 28,509. Again, that's uh, Chandler's BMW. 22nd of the 8th, 2012, 37,024, Chandler's BMW. And it's gone out of the BMW network at um, 5th of August 2013, 46,398 miles, Oliver Maxwell, automotive engineer, then back into BMs. 23rd of the 3rd, 2015, Partridge of Hampshire, 67,348. 14th of 12th, 2016, 89,139. Partridge of Hampshire. We've just serviced it now, 16th of the 7th, 2018, at 108,413. It's done 108,425 on the clock now. So, proper service history with a stamped book. You can't beat it. You really can't. We've got uh, reversing sensors there. I'll just, uh, actually, I'll just show you front parking sensors and reversing sensors. So, there you go, just knocking them on. And just uh, managed to do that when there's a car coming, so we'll get going. Height and reach adjustable steering wheel. I think it says it'll do up to 54.3 miles per gallon, which usually is very, very difficult to achieve. But even so, who would expect anywhere near that out of a, a, a three litre, 235 brake horsepower engine? Um, it, it, it really is remarkable. And the uh, 12 months road tax, 250 pounds. It's finished in platinum uh, gray metallic with black Dakota leather sport seat. The, uh, the front bit of the sports seat here pulls out, thigh support, they're also... Turn left onto A6 at the end of the road. Right, we won't be doing that, I'm going to have to knock that off in a second. Um, but, seeing as it's prompted me, we've got professional sat-nav and uh, Bluetooth hands-free. Pick the next road on the left. Root criteria. Oh, there you go, speaker. Knock that speaker off. So that, that'll do for the moment. We'll put it back on the map because it uh, 
Okay, that looks good. Cars fitted with uh, Goodyear Eagle NCT tyres all round, so well shod. The alloys, 10, 10 double spoke alloys. So we 10 spokes on them, split into two, and the alloy wheels are, are pretty good. Remembering the car's 10 years old, uh, I'd say it's, uh, it's actually excellent. Accelerate a little bit as we get round the roundabout and straighten the wheels up. Well, I was going to accelerate, but there's a mini here overtaking. Okay, we'll do, we'll do that another time. Uh, nice and quiet nothing nothing through the steering wheel everything works and uh, we're going as fast as we need to at 1500 revs so the engine's hardly uh, hardly working at all. And Mini's far enough ahead now. We'll just hit the loud pedal. central armrest in it there's a holder for an old style Nokia 6210 or whatever it was probably the best phones they ever made um, we've got uh, brushed aluminium insets to the gear tunnel the dash the door cards and they're, they're not covered in key rash like or, or off wedding rings and any other rings all nice the cars just lovely inside climate control and that's uh, icy cold it's a warm day today Automatic gearbox, a multifunction steering wheel, the automatic box there, you can knock over like so, change up or down, you probably never want to. Got cruise control on the left hand side of the steering column here, your indicators just above. When you turn the steering wheel there, you can see it, and we've got there, let's just see, that's it. You can uh, change your fuel computer reading. In the glove box, there's a multiplay CD or a, a six slot CD. You've got DVD here, which the sat-nav disc goes in. And then an ordinary disc there, and a radio player.
your accelerator away, no effort, 24 valve engine, you just have to slow down to uh, 70 there, just took us beyond. Set the cruise control to 70. There we go, 70 miles an hour. Doing round about 1600 revs. Just drive all day in this car. The car's been de-chromed, so it's uh, black trim all around the windows, debadged, so it's, uh, I suppose, a wolf in sheep's clothing as well. But for somebody who just does a lot of motorway work, motorway mileage, then. Um, Somehow you, you never seem to get as tired when you're driving a bigger engine vehicle, probably because of the noise and or lack of it. Lights are on the right hand side here, wipers there. You've got your eye control here. If uh, menu button at the back, click the menu button, you can go into climate. Uh, where you want to direct the airflow for people who like gadgets. Perhaps not. The seats are nice, sports style seats, built up, keep you in place going around corners. Isofix seats in the back for uh, child seat. We've got the BMW cup holders, which again I think is a great idea having any hot liquids over the passenger and not the driver. If I'm honest, I, I don't understand the electric park. Um, I don't know why you would have that. I, uh, I always think it's better if you've actually got a position to put the gear stick in and you know it's gonna go in there and when it's in there, the car's not gonna move rather than just depending on a, a light. Plenty of room for five people, lots of room for luggage as well. Plenty of room in the boot. The car's just nice and clean all round. bonnet as well and see that engine block nice and planted on the front end there plenty of weight over the front wheels
uh, when, when I started at a place called Ian Anthony, and easier for me to say, a place called Ian Anthony BMW in Bolton, um, over the Christmas period, they, uh, great firm to work for, they, they gave us the, the nicest cars we had in the, the second hand display. Uh, I was on the used side and I got a BMW 535. We also got free petrol as well, which, which was very good because, um, and this is going back to 1992, I think I used about 150 pounds of the petrol over the, uh, over the Christmas period, you know, just the, the three days. Um, I wish these had been uh, about then, the diesels. The diesel had only just come out when I was at BMW in 92. And even then we knew it was a great engine. It really was, we, we all went out in it and the car just, you could pull away from third gear. You pull away from start in third gear to virtually 100 miles an hour. Um, and uh, of course they're, they're, they're still as good now. central locking electric windows electric door mirrors just check the uh, sound system Let's see what's on nothing menu climate communication entertainment radio meatloaf I was lucky Yeah, and the steering's just excellent. Time what we tended to. I'll show you how to delete a mobile phone from the, the system, uh, pair a mobile phone and also set the sat nav when we get back. Got volume controls there on the left hand side, telephone button on the right. What's that doing? So that was controlling the display there, switches on and off. And you can move, you can change channels from there. Switch the uh, front and rear parking sensors off there. Ashtray, cigarette lighter. Well, PowerPoint as most people use them for these days. Very strange.
This is a great value car for somebody. Here we are, back at the garage. Right, let's just turn this aircon on a bit more. The cameras are getting hot now. Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat-nav in this BMW 5 Series from any screen, uh, just click menu, You've got communication, climate, entertainment and navigation over the right hand side, knock the eye control over to the right hand side, um, it's gone straight onto new destination there but if, if it's not it would normally come on on the top line there, navigation, onboard info, address, so navigation, click down, new destination, click, address input, so yes again click backwards towards you normally United Kingdom would already be in here but I've deleted all the uh, information so if for argument's sake yours isn't just click on United Kingdom and then it goes down to city city we're Grosvenor Garage Chorley Road Wantleydale Preston P R five and uh, then four that's that's as much as you can get to off this particular system but then if you click down it gives you a choice of how Walton Preston Preston or Waltonydale Preston so we're, we're Waltonydale Preston so we'll, we'll just wind the eye control down to there Waltonydale Preston that's us and it gives you the street so we're Chorley Road On to C, H, it should, there you go, it's, it's defaulted to Chorley Road. So that, that's it. It takes a little bit longer than the, the newer sat-navs, but it, it gets you there anyway. Click Start Guidance. That's it. At the moment, audio instructions are switched off. That's in the top left-hand corner, so if you knock that over there, you see the speaker symbol please make a legal u-turn and the, the symbol had a slash through it where, which meant the audio was turned off it's back on now and uh, it's giving me spoken instructions that, that's it that's how you do it right one second i'll just delete bluetooth gopro bmw Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth system in uh, this BMW 5 Series. From any screen, menu, you want communication, so knock the eye control up. You've got telephone there, and then if we click down, that's two settings menu. Click on set two settings menu. You've got the telephones paired already, pair new phone, settings, 
we want my phone there. So I've highlighted my phone by clicking the uh, eye control backwards and on, on to over the orange box over my phone. Click that, remove device, remove device. That's it, it's gone. So, Okay, I'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the uh, Bluetooth system in this BMW 5 Series. Uh, first of all, we make sure. First of all, we make sure Bluetooth is on. Then, from any screen, click menu. Onto communication. Showing telephone, we need to click back towards you onto to settings menu. Click to settings menu click pair new telephone click start pairing and this will change any second I think to the BMW it's just saying hands free and there you go it's changed to this BMW 00321 so we click that asking for a code no 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 pair this changes we want no 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 the uh, confirm pass key is just below not the eye control back click on confirm pass key it's verified that it's asking me here if I want to allow my contacts and favorites to sync I don't I won't be using this car again but you will uh, and there it, there it is that's uh, that's showing it's connected so no call in progress at the moment that's it that's how you do it